I'm Chloe from Nothing Original, and with me is Diamond Youth at Bloodfest. How are you guys? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> also great. Also good to hear. So, um, can you guys please give me your names and role in the band? I'm Sam, and I play guitar. I'm Justin, and I sing and play guitar. Very good. So you guys just started um, a spring tour with Make Do and Mend and Cheap Girls, correct? A week ago. How's that been so far? So far, so good. I think like half the shows haven't been with Make Do and Men because they've been doing some off days with Annie Flag and um, Hostage Calm. So it's been like half and half, but the show's been awesome. And we've done a couple cool fests like today. I mean, yesterday we did Spring Fling in Cleveland, which is really cool. So yeah, it's been good. Okay. And then how have you been having a good time? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, they're all really, really great guys. So we've been having a blast. Here, what show um, upcoming are you most excited for on the tour? Well, off the top of my head, I'm really excited to go to LA because that's one of my favorite places in the world, and we've never played there before. So, lots of friends live there. I think it's going to be really nice. So I'd say that. Same, yeah. And my mom is in LA, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then what are some things that you guys do um, to prepare for tour? I'm going to have you go first. Let's see. Uh, we don't really do a lot. We live in separate cities so we basically just get together sometimes and practice once or like for instance today we're in a school we practiced in the teachers lounge before the show so we get together when we can before uh, long tours but I mean not too much. Do you have any like special packing ritual ri rituals or anything? I think that I just have gotten better at packing as I get older. Like I'm like starting to figure out some tricks. I have a, a bag now that is the right size for carry on on a plane, so I can like I can check it or carry it on. Um, that's about it. You know, you get good with like the bathroom bag packing. You pack more efficiently. Um, that's about it. We don't really like practice ever. So we actually practice in this room today. So that's what we're working with, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's pretty spacey. I don't know. <laughs> it works. The yeah. goal is to just make as little mistakes as possible, but like, you try mm -hmm. to just make less and less mistakes. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, you mentioned a couple minutes ago that you guys live in separate cities, and that was actually my next question. Um, what advantages and disadvantages do you think that that presents? Um, let's see. Well, when we started the band, we were in separate cities, so it's basically just all we know. But, I mean, with technology and everything, we just pass files back and forth and sort of just make it work. So it hasn't really been too much of a disadvantage. It's sort of just what we know as a band. We just do our thing, you know? I think, I mean, Brendan lives like 30 minutes away from me, and I never see him. So it's kind of just like, he might as well live in Chicago too, you know? So, I mean, we see each other so much anyways because of doing shows and tours, yeah, so. I don't think it's really that crazy, and like you said, we all kind of like write separately and just kind of send stuff back and forth, and I don't know that living close, I mean it would be nice, like I'd like to hang out with everybody, but it's fine, it's, it's going to be okay. You probably get your fair share of hanging out with them anyways. Yeah, it's enough. Yeah, <laughs> you get enough of each other. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after, after a tour, it's good. Yeah. Then we're excited to see each other. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. like, what if you like, saw some every day when you were going to, and it's just too Mm -hmm. Like my mom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know it would be it would be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then, how did you guys meet? Well, me and him went to like art school together. Yeah, that was that, that was in Baltimore, and then um, I know Brendan and Daniel from like since they're like fourteen. They're a little younger than us, and. We just met going to like shows in Maryland. Um, they had bands, and I was in bands. And they like Brendan had this, had this old band that I used to love, and I just met him through that. I guess we were super young, so. Go on the way from those other band. Well, we're talking yeah, like ten years ago. So I guess maybe yeah. I, yeah. His band doesn't really do anything anymore. <laughs> that one. So in a sense, yeah, we ruined one step too many. Okay. Well, don't feel bad. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Um, and then this January, your EP Orange was released via Top Shelf Records. So looking back a few months later, um, what song are you most proud of? Um, I think there's two. There's Cannonball, which I think represents us as a band really nicely. It, it, like, it's, it's dark and it's, it rocks and it, you know, has a little bit of indie and stuff. But I love playing Orange live. 
it's it's just extremely fun and like fast and it's just great to play live on stage i love it those are probably my favorites too yeah i'm just like ashamed of all the others <laughs> is there anything you would change oh uh, no i'm just kidding no no yeah we definitely were like uh <clears throat> it took us a while to like narrow down those songs like those were definitely like our six that we liked the most and we were like these were the six we have to do and like it wasn't like just random songs that we weren't sure how they're going to turn out like we, kept, we pretty much knew them going in and yeah i feel pretty good about them well good i'm glad to hear that <laughs> um so do you guys like to take breaks in between releases or are you working on new material now right all the time like we're yeah i think we haven't really made this a thing yet, but we're recording in August. Um, so we've just been writing nonstop since Orange came out. Because you have to get better, you know? We're not that good at writing songs, so we have to like keep getting better. I don't understand how bands can just like take time off and then just be like, all right, let's go make a record, and then just like write, and then just be done. If you like to write music, then it would just be all the time, but... Yeah. So you said you that you have plans to um, record in August. Yeah, we haven't really told anybody that. I guess oh. that that that's. Oh. <laughs> heard it first. That nothing that original. Cares, that that was definitely yeah. That's the plan. Okay. August twelfth. Well, sounds good. <laughs> okay, and then what are you most excited about today at Bloodfest? Because um, it's a little bit different than a normal tour date. You're here at a high school. A lot of other bands going on. A lot of stuff. So, what excites you most? Or if the most exciting thing already happened, what was it? <laughs> well, the, here's the problem is, first of all, I'm, I missed Daylight Set to be here. Thanks a lot. So that was one of the things I was excited about. Um, Hostage Calm, I also had to miss to do merch. So I'm really just not doing good today. But those are two things I was excited for. Bad day at Bloodfest. I know. But no, there's a lot of good bands playing today. Those are just my two personal favorites that I wanted to see. Um, I believe that Andrew WK is going to be a spectacle. I. I will probably be there for that, um, and then Into It Over is playing right after that, so that will that will be great, yeah. And then who's playing last? Annie Flag? That'll be awesome too, yeah. So. What do you think? I mean, that's pretty much it. Other than the fact that this is in a in a high school, yeah. it's pretty that's, bizarre. Does it bring you back flashbacks? Yeah, as soon as I walked in, I smelled it, and I just thought of homework, you know, and like missing class and yeah, doing tests. And, but yeah, I mean, seeing all of our friends, bands, even if we're not seeing their set, seeing them in the hallway, which is weird to say, but yeah. I think everyone's just walking around, mingling in the halls. Yeah, exactly. It's like all these bands go to high school here. That You're would like be cool. High school would have been better if it was with everyone here, huh? Yeah. This is like a punk high school. It's really weird. It would be better than my high school experience. <laughs> yeah. I would, yeah. This is just, this is not working for me. Like, I've just been stressed out all day and like, it's making me really uncomfortable, you know? Here today? It's a little strange. No, we're at summer school today. <laughs> I barely slid by, but no summer school, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is my last question for you guys. So, um, where do you hope to be with music in five years? Just hope to be better at writing songs I guess I mean yeah it's definitely like I mean it hasn't been that long really if you think about it like I've only been writing stuff since I was like 20 you know and I'm 20 I just turned 27 and I think that goes for everybody so there's that really just trying to get better at writing and I guess like playing guitar too because I kind of am not really that good so like trying to just hone my skill and oh, and get better at singing too. All of it yeah, yeah, I expect a lot. Yeah, the next in five, five years is a long time. I'll be 32. Mm -hmm. That's that's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> that's I need I need I need a lot of work. Yeah. What do you think? Same for me. Get better at songwriting. Constantly write songs. For me, I'd like to be a more professional tourer. Okay. You know, just on the road. I'm learning every day how to handle it yeah exactly playing live is something that you learn you know from each night so just being on stage being like a front man talking to the crowd and all that kind of stuff working with like 
when things go wrong, if there's like a technical problem, you know, just all that kind of stuff is like, you're constantly learning, so yeah, yeah. That's the only way you can get it over time, so hopefully we'll see what you guys are doing in five years. <laughs> we'll see if it Probably matches up. That, like drug addicts, <laughs> like, like homeless. <laughs> and then you're gonna look back at this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for talking to us. It's been a pleasure. Make sure you check these guys out at the links provided and then check out the rest of our coverage of Bloodfest. Thank you.